Yeah, they go right there. Oh my God, I'm so glad I did not leave. This is the people I'm talking about. Oh my God. Grand rising, y'all. So I'm up this morning. I gotta work. It's 8.30, 8, no, it's probably about 8.40 now. I gotta work at 9.30, but I wanted to come out to this farmer's market because I was looking for some coconuts because the other one that I went to didn't have coconuts. But anyways, I guess this will kind of be the start of my video. You made a way out of no way You saw the change way before me I'll forever praise your name This will kind of be the start of my video telling you guys that I'm going on a 30 day journey. Hold on for a second. I just felt the glory of the most high it just that was so unexpected that was so unexpected oh my goodness like um i just feel so amazing this morning it's like a natural high i feel awesome um just waking up and just hearing the birds chirp seeing all these people get their tents together getting ready for this warmest market to open at the eye I came specifically out here to look for the coconut man, the the original one that I usually go to, because this is a different farmer's market than the other one that I go to that's closer to my house. But he's the coconut guy that I normally go out, go to. I haven't came to this farmer's market in a minute, and he's not out here. But what I was saying was, I'm going on a 30-day journey of all fruits, and it's starting today. I just, I was supposed to do it April 1st. So I was like, from April 1st to May 1st, I'm going to do a 30-day journey of all fruits, but I realized that I'm not good when it comes to trying to plan stuff out. I would talk myself out of something so quick. So, so you know what? Let me just go ahead and do it now. So yesterday I went to the farmer's market by my house. Got a whole bunch of fruit, like buku mangoes, a whole bunch of bananas. Already had apples at the house. A whole bunch of papayas. Like I really stocked up. <laughs> like I did this before. And the thing I noticed from the first time that I did it is that it's kind of similar to fasting. I noticed that I was not eating a lot. Like after the first three days, your appetite gets suppressed. You start to realize that you're not really as hungry as you think you are. It's like your body gets accustomed to like not eating a lot. So it's basically just going to be all fruits. And that's just what it's going to be. Yes, ma'am. She got she got strawberries. I don't know what I wonder what she sell her strawberries for. I got a whole bunch of them from yesterday's from right here. I don't see not one person selling coconuts. That sucks. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going on a 30-day journey, guys, where I eat just fruits. This um fruit journey is something that's so dear to me because the most high y'all, he's the one that has led me and guided me on the first journey. So now I'm doing it again, but this time I'm doing it publicly. The first time I did it in private, no one knew I was doing it except my husband and my sister. My sisters and my husband, that was it. And it was so crazy because on this journey, this is this exact farmer's market that I started the journey off on last time. I think that's probably why I'm like, feeling so emotional this morning. 
and I can feel the glory of y'all because I remember being at this woman's market and I was way bigger and um, I remember just being like over it and it was this couple and they're not out here today and I wanted to see him you know she's the one that told me about y'all key awaken and this was after I had already been on the feet journey I was on it for like a week and she was like hey let me tell you about this dude and I remember following him and I watched him that very day she told me and um she literally chased me down because I had already cashed out and I was walking this way and she's like hey, hey, hey and I turned around and she chased me down she's like let me tell you about this dude y'all can't wake in she gave me his YouTube and I started following him and that day I saw this video of him talking about <gasps> yeah they go right there <gasps> oh my god I'm so glad I did not leave this is the people I'm talking about <gasps> oh my god <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did not leave. I wanted to see them so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Excuse me for crying. <laughs> y'all don't know how like people pour into you. I'm so excited because I'm 50 pounds lighter since the last time I seen you. You're like when you start a journey. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not trying to get out here, but it's so emotional. It's so, like, dear to me. Because I'm going on this journey again, what the most high y'all told me to do. And, um, <laughs> I really have an e-book talking about all of this or whatever, but for y'all who on here, y'all get to see this part by watching my videos. Because I went there for free because I am monetized. So I am getting, you know, the payments or whatever. Look at her with that long behind hair. <laughs> She's the one that told me about y'all. He keep awakening, man. After she realized I was on this fruit journey. Uh, but anyways, I'll tell y'all the rest when I get in the car. They sell, like, exotic mushrooms and stuff. That's her husband. <laughs> Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Oh my God. I know, right? <laughs> I started working on Sundays. Thank you. Yeah, 50 pounds. I know, right? <laughs> I started working on Sundays, but I got up this morning just to come see you guys. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I see. I'm going to wait for it. Today starts another fruit journey. That's good if it works. Yeah, I'm going on another 30 days. The first day I did, I did 30, and then I did the other... I did 90 days total, but the first 30 days was just fruits, and then I did fruits and vegetables. Um, you're, you're better half. He's not doing it. I tried to, I talked to him about doing it this time with me. He said he'll think about it, but all I could do is just worry about me. I'm I'm vlogging on YouTube. That's what I was going to tell you if you if you okay with being in this video. Yeah, and actually when... She, she should, I'm gonna tell Alex, you, you should consider doing one of her um, detoxes. Who? Her detox. Oh, your wife detox? Oh, okay. You should consider. She'll probably hook you up for free, too. Yeah. I just like bought, um, I just, well, I been bought it like eight weeks ago. It took forever to get here, but the man she told me about Yaki Awaken, yeah. I was following him, and I went on his website and bought cell, cell regenerated tea, and it's definitely working. Like, I just started using that last week. Because the actual um, detox, it would help you a lot too. So her detox, it, it's a, it's a, um, it's a Dr. Sebi. Um, oh, detox, it's yeah. It's just tea, tea, tea. Right. But you could eat or do your, your fruit cleanse. You just got to drink a lot of water. Yeah, I noticed with this one, I need to drink a lot of water. Because in my water, my urine is like highlighter when I do this tea. Because I need to start drinking more. But I also, I'm not 100% alkaline, but I've been eating some alkaline foods as well. Right, but I mean, you don't even need to be alkaline 
toilet detox. You just gotta drink a lot of water and eat super clean. Right. It's recommended for you to so I started work. My sh my schedule changed, so I work on Sundays. I got up just to come here to see y'all this morning, and I was gonna see if the dude had coconuts. I got to be work at nine thirty. Oh, you do? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, great, cause I didn't see the coconut guy. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> It was good. I lost 50 pounds. I lost 35 doing the fruits, but I had already lost. So totally, I'm down 50. And today starts another fruit journey. I'm going to do 30 days of all fruits because I loved it. Awesome. I mean, it didn't affect it at all. No, I mean, affected it. In a good way? Oh, yeah. It Like, after two weeks of doing it, my blood sugar went normal. After two weeks of just doing fruit. So now when I prick my finger, it's always normal. Every time now. You don't take it in Mm-mm. Nope, no, I never. They tried to get me to take metformin, but that was a no. <laughs> and I was telling your husband, I just bought some cell regeneration tea from Yaki website. So I've been drinking that last week, but I need to up my water. Because I don't drink a lot of water. I drink H3O2. So I'll juice a lot of fruit and drink that, which is better than I guess water. But I just turned 33 in February. So I'm definitely just trying to... Huh? Thank you. So I'm trying to get get down more. But yeah, it's so crazy because I, I think I told y'all about, I don't know if I told y'all about my dream that I had. I had a dream of this fruit. And I think I told y'all I, I was believing the most I was telling you on the fruit journey. Well, I found this other guy who's in Orlando. He sells like exotic fruits. He sells like how y'all do mushrooms. He got like growing like this. Ox. There we go. I go to Ox. Um, Idol is vital. Yep. I go to Ox. There we go. Y'all know. And he said all this stuff. But he had the um, the egg fruit that was in my dream. And I bought, like, the whole box for, like, $18. It was so crazy because i never seen that fruit in my real life, like, ever, until I dreamed it. And then the most I was, like, fruit journey. And I was like, what? Because I was crying out to him, like, how can I lose this weight? Like, I'm miserable. I'm, like, 296. I'm not happy. And I dreamed that. And I feel like that's what he was telling me. And then when... I seen Ox had it. It was so surreal. It tastes so good. What is it? It's an egg fruit. It's an egg. Ten it's yeah, the fruit is called egg fruit, and they call it egg is because the inside of the fruit is like an egg yolk uh, consistency, but it don't taste like an egg yolk, of course. It's very sweet. It's so good. But he had a whole bunch of them, and I was so shocked. Like, I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, I was shocked. And I was like, one day I'm going to get up before my shift, and I'm a go. So today I was like, I'm, I'm up early. I'm finna go out there. And I was kind of sad. When I pulled in, I'm like, I know I'm early. I didn't see y'all. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and when I and then I start like just getting emotional just because I'm like, this is where it started for me. And I was like, dang, where they at? And then right when I was finna like, I started recording because I'm back on YouTube now. And I was finna leave out. And I saw y'all. And I was like, dang, they right there. <laughs> I'm like, they is here. <laughs> we made you sad, dude. I would say being late. Y'all wasn't late. Y'all was on time. I was just early. <laughs> he said we late. <laughs> oh, y'all got tinctures? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. This is for your birthday. Oh, thank you. And this is a hug for your success. Thank you. And I want you to be really successful. Yes, I am. I appreciate it. Open up order. Oh yeah. You, you you follow us, right? No, I need to. That was that's, that's why I was trying to look for y'all. I listen, I try it's so weird that y'all say that because cause remember when I think when I first met y'all, I was I wasn't I'm in my turn. I wasn't on social media at that time. I had I was off. I did like a whole I was off for four months. You was doing social yeah, media. Yeah, I was doing like a social media fast. But I think y'all had gave me y'all card or something, but yeah. I could not remember it's, it's the muddy oysters. Um, the, there we go. The I'm like, oysters. it's something oyster I could not remember for the life for of me. should be able to see me but that was so hopeful man i was so happy to see them like y'all don't even understand like when you go on a journey where people like pour into you they believe in you they tell you that you can do it it's another level of just happiness that you go through 
because of the fact that somebody somebody believes in you and that's just like amazing like they was like we were wondering like wait where, where, where were you at they was like we've been talking about you for like a whole month i know like i haven't seen them in like months like literally i ain't seen them in over it's been basically months like because my my schedule at my job changed i used to work tuesday through saturday but long story short guys i'm going on another 30 day fruit fast where i'm just eating basically all fruits i'll be taking you guys with me on this journey i wanted to just kind of document this moment life is just so beautiful when you learn the foods to put into your body like the most high had literally told me like i really this information is in my ebook and i never thought i would really like come out with it like on a more public way but i know that it'll help other people and plus like i said i am monetized so it's not like i'm giving out free information i'm actually you know getting some type of revenue from posting the videos or whatever that's why i'm trying to be more consistent if you still want to give my ebook a support because i do want to do more things that i did it wasn't just the fruit but it was more things that i did on that 90 day journey when i did what i did i go into depth on you know a lot of stuff so if you want to support my ebook is in the link in my description box if you want to support like i said it is more stuff in the ebook i had a dream of this fruit and it looked like an egg shaped fruit and i, I just remember and it had a seed on the inside and, and i'm like it looked like a sweet potato that was crazy and like i was literally like eating this fruit in a dream now mind you i am very cautious about dreams where i'm eating food because to me like that's kind of like witchcraft i don't like dreaming of myself eating foods or seeing animals and different stuff like that because that stuff to me it leads back to like the enemy or like something bad witchcraft in, in a sense so like if i eat something i wake up and i be like, I rebuke that in a mighty name or like if i dream of like blood you know what i'm saying like if i dream like I cut myself or I dream or I see blood on the floor or I see whatever whatever if I dream of blood I, I immediately wake up and rebuke that jump because the enemy he likes to forge um cut like like contracts and, and covenants with you illegally and the contracts are blood contracts so if you have a dream of blood like you need to wake up and start rebuking that stuff like I can really teach y'all some things but anyways well, this particular time when I woke up I didn't feel this I didn't feel that feeling that I normally feel about eating food but I still said, Father, if this is not of you, you know, I, I don't see that or whatever. I didn't know what the dream is. All I know is I, 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 I think I wrote it down. I did a voice recording or whatever so I could remember. But I never did forget. Like, I remember this dream. It was very vivid. I remember me waking up. I Googled the, the, the fruit and I said, egg fruit. A yellow egg fruit. Orange egg, egg fruit. Whatever. And it brought up this thing called egg fruit sapot. Egg fruit canistale sapot. And I said, Wow. I had never seen this fruit so I really didn't think the fruit was gonna be a real thing because I never saw the fruit for real in my awakening life so I was shocked when I actually got on Google and the fruit is actually a real fruit so of course you know I go and look at the benefits and of course it got really great benefits and I felt like the most I was telling me to go on a fruit journey to cleanse and detox my body and I was obedient and I lost 35 pounds on that 90 day journey but totally I'm down 50 pounds and I've been like I tell y'all in my last video I've been plateauing and I've been okay with that but now it's time for me to you know do it again I'm, I'm excited to do this fruit cleanse again so if anybody's out there I'm already starting mine I'll tell y'all what today's date is because I can't think of it right now but I think it's like March it's March someday I can't really think of it like whatever it is it's two weeks before April 1st, so we in the middle of March. I'll, I'll post it on the screen because I don't know what today's date is at the current moment. But it's a Sunday. So I'm starting mine today. You can always join me later. You don't have to join me the same day I'm doing mine. You could join me a week later. You could join me two weeks later. But I want to encourage you. If you have diabetes, if you got pre-diabetes, if you got insulin resistance, if you got PCOS, if you have endometriosis, whatever sickness you got in your body, if you got whatever, I'm telling you, this fruit fast that I did the first time, it healed me from insulin resistance. Do I still have insulin resistant problems if I eat the wrong foods? But whenever I'm on this fruit journey, I didn't have it. And that, and I tell y'all that in my ebook. Like I documented what my glucose was when I pricked my finger. The day one, two weeks later, it was completely normal. Every day I was pricking it after that, normal. Under 100, under 100, under 100. Because fruit is fructose, not glucose. Glucose is what gives you diabetes. Glucose is what gives you pre-diabetes. Glucose is what gives people hormonal imbalances. High levels of glucose, but fruit is fructose. It's processed through your liver, not through your pancreas. So with that being said, 
let go of that myth that fruits are bad. Like um Alex told me, that's the lady there. He um told me about Yaki Awaken. So I'm done telling y'all about Yaki Awaken. Go look him up. Follow him. Learn, gain knowledge and wisdom to heal your body. That's why I got that TikTok that say electrified bites. Because fruits and vegetables, they are electrified food, especially fruit. You don't think about when we eat food, the amount of energy that it gives you. You can eat a mango and it can it can provide 13,000 aeons of energy. But we don't think about food in that way. You think about food of how it makes you feel, oh, this tastes good. Oh, this ice cream tastes good. This potato chip tastes good. This baked thing tastes good. This and that tastes good. These fries taste good. But how you feel that you eat those potato chips, that fries and them cakes and them cookies, or drinking that soda, how that make you feel? Because you can't feel good. Because I didn't feel good. But when I ate them fruits, I felt amazing. I did a lot of grounding, putting my feet in the grass for 30 minutes, getting sunlight 30 minutes a day, just sitting in the grass. And I'm starting that back up too, so I'm going on a grounding journey as well. I'm gonna wake up every single morning and I'm gonna go and put my feet in the grass and I'm gonna sit in the sun for 30 minutes before clocking in. Every single morning. I couldn't do it today because I was going to meet them. But tomorrow, I'm doing that. So if y'all wanna go on this fruit grounding journey with me, like dm me on instagram and let's go let's do it comment down below actually if you want to go on this fruit journey then do hashtag i'm in let's let's do this together <laughs> like i'm telling y'all and if you have diabetes insulin resistance take your take your stuff do your measurements take your weight anything that's going on inside of you like go get tests like do some blood work see what your blood work look like before and then after let's see what your blood work look like after and I didn't know a lot of y'all gonna be like, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, oh my God, just fruits. But if you truly want to heal your body, or if you are like morbidly obese and you really want to um lose weight, you will do it. Now that I see, never let me. You got my soul. They can't pay.